Hello and welcome to Meek Hibiscus. This is the last video of my Star Wars mobile game series. After playing two character collection battle games, I'm going to change it up and play a puzzle game. Star Wars Puzzle Droids, created by Genera Games, is a match three puzzle game similar to Bejeweled or Candy Crush. Instead of matching jewels or candy, you match droid circuits. There is actually a story to this ever maddening matching. BB-8 has lost all of his memories and it's up to you to help BB-8 by matching circuits against the backdrop of the events from The Force Awakens. C-3PO is there to help you master the art of circuit matching, though he can be a bit judgmental about BB-8's memories. Those unsightly creatures are a particular nuisance. I cannot imagine why you have such awful things in your memory system, BB-8. The game makers got Anthony Daniels to voice C-3PO. This really helps sell the story to me. They'll stand everywhere. It is at times like this that I truly consider simply shutting down. But after you've learned the basics of the game, there aren't many voice acted segments with C-3PO. Other characters offer up some dialogue between puzzles, but this isn't voice acted. The puzzles use the environment of Jakku well. Instead of just matching circuits to get a high score, each puzzle has a goal you need to complete, like shooing away steel peckers, using the Night Watcher worm to help clear sand from the circuits, or collecting scrap parts from inside a crashed Star Destroyer. When you complete a puzzle, you earn some of BB-8's memory discs. You need to collect a certain number of them before you can unlock the final puzzle of the area. You will also need to complete all the puzzles in the area. These puzzles represent BB-8's most heroic memories, according to C-3PO. When you have completed the final puzzle, the next area unlocks. You can also unlock characters from BB-8's memories to help earn more memory discs by completing previous levels on high difficulties. These characters can also be leveled up by completing puzzles or collecting enough materials. Rewards and other characters can be earned by levelling up your characters. So, there are some incentives to replaying puzzles at harder difficulties. I found the first two areas of Jakku easy to progress through. It was when I got to the Star Destroyer levels, I started finding the game becoming more difficult. There are only a certain amount of moves that you can use to complete each puzzle. Once you have used all of them up, you can either use a battery to start the puzzle over again, or spend 100 crystals to buy 5 extra moves to complete the puzzle. Kuraska gems are formed from rare and valuable crystals used as currency in some parts of the galaxy. As you have probably guessed, crystals are the hard to come by currency in the game. Well, it seems like all free-to-play Star Wars games use crystals as the rare in-game currency. I haven't spent any crystals in this game because when I'm trying to complete a level for the first time, I'm nowhere close to completing the goal. You are close to the goal. Haha, <laughs> yeah right. I've been using batteries to start the puzzles over again. The problem with this is, you are only given 5 batteries, and each battery takes a long time to charge up. Or you can spend crystals to recharge your batteries. So, you aren't given many chances to understand how the puzzle works, before you are forced to wait before you can play again. You can make these puzzles easier to complete by using special items to remove some of the circuits and obstacles. But you are only given a limited number of these items, or you can purchase them with real money. Despite of all the pay to win mechanics implemented into this game, 
I still found enjoyment in playing the puzzles. Maybe it was because I was overplaying the Star Wars battle games. Or I hadn't played a match 3 puzzle game since the days of Bejeweled Blitz on Facebook. I actually continued playing this game after I recorded enough footage for this video. And I started seeing circuits when I closed my eyes. There are quite a lot of puzzles to play throughout the three locations. And there are even rotating events you can play to unlock Anakin Skywalker and R2-D2. If you're in the mood to play the match tree puzzler and don't mind the waiting to play mechanics, you might be able to find a bit of fun with this game. Thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed my series of Star Wars mobile game videos. What are some of your favourite Star Wars games? Let me know in the comments below. My favourites are Rose Squadron 2, Knights of the Old Republic, Galactic Battlegrounds, and the Jedi Knight series. Okay, see you next time! Bye bye!